This is Jimmy. Uh, he's been going to from class for about a week, and speaking is actually Taylor, but I'd like you guys to meet Jimmy. Jimmy, class. Class, Jimmy. Um, so this past week we've been learning about Eric Fromm and his main points, and the first packet that we got had a specific section on exercising authority. Um, I'm going to read a few quotes that I underlined, and we'll then dissect those quotes and have some fun. Alright, another example of the difference between modes of having and being is the exercise of authority. There's a having mode of authority and a being mode. Now, the difference between having authority and being authority is... For instance, if I have authority over you as a listener, I could tell you, intimidate you, bribe you, force you to uh, turn up the volume, for instance. I'm not going to do that because then you wouldn't be able to hear the rest of my lovely conversation with you. But it, that's, that's a having mode of authority. But the being mode of authority is that person that inspires, like your uh, team coach. He inspires you most of the time to play well in whatever sport you're doing. For instance, lacrosse. Our lacrosse coach encourages us most of the time to do things right. He's always like giving tips and all that. He's exercising his authority in a being mode 90% of the time. There are those coaches that need that having mode of authority where you do sprints and fun push-ups and all that for um, punishment, but that's not that's beside the point. The difference between the two is, as I explained, um, never mind, I not that. Um, there's also rational and irrational authority which is um, rational authority is gosh dang it basically where you're um, in the being mode you're encouraging them but the irrational authority is you're forcing them bribing them and what I find really cool from macro, sorry, microeconomics is uh, the CEOs, how they're chosen. What I see a CEO as being is a rational authority figure. He, he knows what he's doing. He knows how to run a company. He doesn't have to, um, in most cases within the law, um, bribe anyone or do anything. He leads his workers by example. But aside from the fact that when we watched um, 12 O'Clock High, we went through a series of different commanders for World War II bombing squadron, and they got too attached to their um, men. So is there that, where is that line where irrational authority, rational authority, and getting attached and being involved with your workers or men or uh, friends gets to be, when do you go to that line and take a step over it? Like trying to, in yourself, discover where that line is. For me, I see... I want to be that leader that inspires people to do um, as I ask them, not having to force them, yet at the same time being involved with the people that I am ahead, the authority figure to. And This is even hard just with you guys looking at Jimmy. Um, get ahead of myself. Um, I just lost my.
my train of thought. Anyway, um, I hope this was a good video for you. It's my first one. Hopefully the ones to come will get better and better, and I will have a better track of what I want to say. Uh, thanks. Uh, talk to you next time. Bye.